conservative new media viewers what's going on it's me John D. Blair. I've got a science and technology story here and slash uh, military uh, technology uh, story here this is the X-47B and I've covered this unmanned uh, combat air system before or UCOS for sure look at this it's taken off right here Boom. Unbelievable. Now, what this is, is this is a land-based uh, catapult test. In my personal opinion, that was a, a very successful test there. Why is this important? Because that's showing if, the, if this kind of aircraft can sustain the kind of forces and requirements needed to launch from an aircraft carrier. That's what's, you know, obviously very important. Can it, you know, get up to speed in time? Can it take that kind of catapult launch? And for this uh, uh, X-47B, uh, to be able to do that, I think it was was great. You can see it, it landed there as well. First of all, I'd say all my personal opinion only knowledge, facts, not casting any scores, all for entertainment purposes. Let me please check disclaimers. What this, in my personal opinion, opens up is the ability of aircraft carriers to perhaps start deploying in the future some unmanned uh, aircraft. And that's very interesting. Now, this X-47B, it's got a lot of interesting capabilities. Let me tell you what I know about the X-47B. We're talking about an aircraft that can go a top speed of high subsonic. Not exactly sure how fast it is, but obviously, uh, you know, below the speed of sound. Uh, also, it has uh, two internal weapons bays. Uh, it looks like it's got a stealth profile there, I, I imagine. You've got a wingspan of 62.1 feet. But they can, the, this uh, aircraft can fold its wings up so that it's only now 30.9 feet. And obviously, if you're an aircraft carrier and you know space is at a premium, that's probably a very important capability as well. It looks like it's got a range of over 2,000 nautical miles. What's also interesting about the X-47B is it looks like it can do, you know, some of these uh, flight operations on its own, meaning autonomously, which is really interesting. Um, I think it could even launch and. Uh, and refuel on its own. Let's look at this again. Obviously, the X-47B is getting ready to, uh, you know, take off there. Looks like the crew is kind of checking it out, doing some final preparations and stuff, lining it up. This is, a, again, a land-based catapult system, I believe, designed to simulate uh, what would happen on an aircraft carrier. Just taking off the boom. We're going to take it off, accelerating. You see that very quickly there? And it's off. Wow, that just looked really smooth. And now it looks like it's doing some flight maneuvers, maybe even, you know, accelerating to altitude. Then look, it's just coming in, it looks very smooth coming in. And this is all unmanned. I mean, that's really incredible. Wow, look at that. That is serious, serious technology in my personal opinion. Fantastic work uh, by the US Navy and, and all involved. I'm very impressed by that. So what do you think about that? I think it was great. I'm very impressed by that. I've always liked this X-47B in my personal opinion. One, I love the technology. I love science. I love technology. And it's just cool from a technological standpoint to see something like this being developed. In addition, I think this can hopefully in the future provide a capability to the U.S. Navy that allows uh, the Navy to be able to have capabilities of an unmanned variety so that, you know, you can conduct uh, uh, so, some missions without having human beings on board that aircraft if it is something of a more dangerous nature. What do you think about it? Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching Conservative New Media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.